How's it going guys? Duck here. Today I got a little bit different of a video being made and it's gonna be really just a non-knife video. We're using this to get this package open. So this is gonna be kind of a uh, unboxing-ish type of review but it's not really a review at the same time. This is um uh, a gift that I'm going to give to somebody at a party. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. This is a more of a kind of just showing what you get. It would be nice if I could get this open without destroying it. And this is going to be very uncut. Normally I try to do everything in one take anyways, so it doesn't really matter. But, let's see here, this does not want to come off. You know, I think we're just going to cut it. Yeah, we're just going to cut it. It does not want to come off. Yeah, well, that's half of it. Take it off camera here so it's a little bit easier. There we go. All right. Now if it can only come out. Invicta. Now a lot of people love or hate these watches. I personally don't mind them. Let's go ahead and get that guy out of here. So I actually have this watch already, and I will be putting a review out of that watch shortly after this video come, goes up, but I just wanted to show what it looks like. So this is going to be more of the unboxing part of the video. This thing is pretty cool. Everything on it works. It's a very functional watch. It's nothing to write home about. But the uh, prices of these guys have actually doubled. So that can be either a good thing or a bad thing. But let's go ahead and... So what we're doing today is we're going to pop out the... Springs. Spring bars in here. And we're going to replace this with a NATO strap. I'm going to call this the budget bond watch. Now, I think these things are great for the price. I honestly do. But there we go. Now we just have the watch itself. So case, glass case back, which is very nice. Seiko N34 movement as I throw the entire watch face. Sorry to whoever gets this. But this is the strap that we're going to put on it. It's just a Barton watch bands strap. I have one of these. You've seen pictures of it up, but yet we're just going to be attaching this guy fairly easy. Now if I could get it out without destroying the watch, or not the watch, but the, the strap. There we go. That. Alright. Now I think I'm just going to reuse the original spring bars and provide some as they fall out kind of tricky but should be able to get it in here there we go there's one that's good now this thing does have hollow end links and that's that's one of the reasons why i want to actually just give it with the uh the band on it or not without the band on it because it's it's just a nicer feel for the watch. 
I do have the metal band on mine, but I took it swimming. I don't really care about it. That's the one good thing about Invicta is you can have a decently good looking watch as it storms outside here. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But you can have a pretty good looking watch and not care about it at all. And this one did not want to go in. As it springs across my room. But this side does not want to go in. The other one was perfectly good. But this one does not want to go in. There we go. And we got it. Perfect. All right. Let me stand up here. Make it a little bit easier. We do have to pull this guy out here. All right. See, I'm trying to remember how I have it set up. I think I have it set up this way. Yep, this way. Slide that through there. Slide that through here. This is what I have on currently the Seiko GMT, the one that came out fairly recently. All right, let's just double check that this is going to work. I think it should, yep. There we go. Everything on this guy is working perfectly. I'm not going to fold it because I don't want to ruin it yet, but there we go. I think we'll, uh, we'll set the time for whoever gets it. And it is currently, this thing does need to be oiled, but, uh, yeah, God, that is so stiff. That's the one thing I remember about this is it's very, very stiff. Not that stiff. This is a lot better than the one I had. I think it would be fine. The one, the one I have and still had, I had to, I lubed it and it works perfectly now. This isn't that stiff, so I don't even think I'm going to lube this one. All right, it is currently... If you want to check the date of this upload, it is the 23rd of December. So we will go to 23rd and then go all the way to 23rd. And it is approximately 8.15. Let's just get that guy winded up here. And this will be good to go to its new owner. Now, I do really like this thing. I know it's tough to tell, but everything on here will actually shine it up here. in the other corner. We'll shine up the sides here really quick before we uh, we'll put this guy back in the box and close everything up. I think these things are just great gifts. So let's go ahead and put that back on.
Yeah, um, like I said, I'm going to do a full review of this watch. I'm going to give them the, the bracelet as well. But it's just going to be kind of a, an extra in here. I don't think the bracelet is the best part of the watch so we're we'll just omit that we'll give this guy to his new owner just like that close that up everything's in the bottom of it and it is shined and everything is good to go so thanks for watching that's pretty much just how you put on a nato strap on your Invicta or any other watch. So, thanks for stopping by. I can't find my sticker. I just moved. I will probably have it in the next the next video that comes up. So, yeah. Y'all have a good one.